while the dim light from the very spirit supreme falls upon matter stark and consciously, as if a pale moonbeam of a dense glade, and mind is a half light moves amid half true, and the human heart knows the only human love, and life is a stumbling and imperfect pose, and the body counts out its precarious day. You shall be born into man's dubious hour, in form that hides the soul's divinity, and so through veils all the earth's doubting air, my glory breaking as through clouds the sun, a burning like a, or burning like a rare and inward fire, and with my name's influence fill men's life. So she is given a big task. While the dim light from the very spirit speak falls upon matter stark in consciously, as if a pale moonbeam in a dense glade, and mind is a half light moves amid half truth, and the human heart knows only human love, and life is a stumbling and imperfect pose. And so this is what human mind is, human heart is, human body is here. And the body counts out its precarious days. You shall be born into man's dubious hour. You shall be born into man's dubious hour in forms that hide the soul's divinity. So your task is not over. You will have to keep on taking birth. You will have to keep on taking birth in forms that hide the soul's divinity, till the soul's divinity is fully revealed and so through veils of the earth. Why should, why should we be born? Because he has to show through the veil us doubting here. My glory breaking as though clouds, sun or burning like a rare and inward fire and with my name this infant will men's life. It is for that purpose he shall be born again and again. Yet shall they look up as to peace of God and feel God like a circumambient air and rest on God as on a motionless base. Yet shall their glow on mind like a horn moon, the spirit's crescent splendor in pale sky and light man's life upon Godward robe. Hard moon, this phrase we have seen many times, very beautiful occult phrase, hard moon. Now he speaks of crescent. So it is a waxing moon, the moon which is rising, becoming in, in crescent, in crescent moon, in crescent luna. The moon which is rising, which is becoming larger and larger. So this is normally on the fourth day after the no moon night, this horn moon. Its horn pointing upward. Right way. And spirits crease and splendor in pale sky and light man, horn moon. We have this is horn sun. <laughs> this is not horn moon, horn sun. <laughs> ninth March. Yeah, ninth March 2016. <laughs> horn sun. You can see the uh, eclipse right, advancing towards that thing, you see. A perfect horn, you see. It's a very rare picture, rare thing, horn sun, you see. <laughs> and uh, very beautiful red also here, you see. Uh, yet shall there glow on mind like a horn moon, the spirit's grace and splendor and pale sky, and light man's life upon Godward road. But more there is concealed in God's beyond that shall one day reveal his hidden face. So this is not all. The claimed child is born. Okay. But then many, 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 many things have to happen. There is so much concealed in God's beyond. There is so much concealed in God's beyond. It is that which has to come out and see the light of the day here. Now, mind is all and is uncertain rain. Mind is the leader of the body and life. Mind, the thought-driven chariot of the soul, carrying the luminous wanderer in the night. 
to vistas of a far uncertain dawn, to the end of the spirit's fathomless desire, to its dream of absolute truth and utter blame. So presently, this creation is governed by mind, the body says, but then there is so much concealed in God's beyond. It is that thing which has to come out, you see. There are greater destinies mind cannot surmise, cannot imagine, cannot understand also. Fixed on the summit of the evolving path, summit of the evolving path, the path is moving, moving forward, evolving, growing further also. The traveler now reads trees in the ignorant, unaware of his next step, not knowing his goal. So what is going to happen is, presently, the traveler is moving on the roads of ignorance. But what has going to happen is the traveler will move on the roads of knowledge. It will be from more knowledge, from less knowledge to greater knowledge. More knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge. Now it is from ignorance to knowledge. It will be from knowledge to knowledge. Unaware of his next step, not knowing his goal. Mind is not all his tireless climb can dream. There is a fire in the apex of the world. There is a house of the eternal's light. So you have to go on that move. See that goal is there. That road is there. And you have to move on. There is an infinite truth and absolute power. The spirit's might and it shall cast off its mask. Yes, the spirit has taken, has put on the mask. It must give up this mask. Its greatness shall be felt shaping the world, suppose. It shall be seen in its own veilless beam. A star rising from the unconscious night, a sun climbing to supernatural beam. So in other words, he is now tracing the future course of evolution, basically. Future course of evolution when Satvan and Savitri descend upon earth. Abandoning the dubious middle way. <coughs> now what is this dubious middle way? There are many ways of looking at it. <laughs> but here in the context, the dubious way obviously means the way by which things are moving because of mind. Mind. He has described all the mental problems, mental difficulty. Abandoning the dubious middle way, a few shall claim the miraculous origin and some shall feel in you the secret fold, and they shall turn to meet a nameless trade, adventurous into a mightier day. So this mental <coughs> being, there are some in the mental, among the mental being, who shall glean the miraculous origin of what is happening here. There is a possibility of the mental being, few of them opening, to that particular thing, you see. And some shall feel in you the secret force, and they shall turn to meet a nameless trail, adventurous into a mighty day. Now here, of course, he says, first, a few shall glimpse. Out of a few, some shall feel. <laughs> I think we are very far away from this view and from this <laughs> We are still caught in the dubious middle way, you see. Yeah. Yeah. if at all, you see, we are on the way. Now this is of course going to happen when Satyavan and Savitri come back to earth and then they will be caught up and moved. Ascending out of the limiting breasts of mind, they shall discover the world's huge design and step into the truth, the right, the vast. They shall step into the truth, the right, the vast. Satyam Ritam Brahat. That is the Upanishadic phrase. Satyam, truth, Ritam, right, Brahat, vast. It is a literal translation of Satyam Ritam Brahat. And step into the truth, the right, the vast. The transcendental domains. Ascending out of the limiting breasts of mind, they shall discover the world's huge design. You see, he said some and few. So among them, some of them will see 
what is the purpose of this world, what is their design, what it is up to and all that kind of a thing. This is an advanced description of what mother has described in the supramental boat, what the mother has described in the supramental boat. She was standing there, who will go and who will come out, who will not be allowed to go inside and all that thing. She was saying all that thing, see, the supramental boat, ascending or the meeting, right? Therefore, you shall reveal to them the hidden eternities. Reveal to them, them, those who are admitted on the boat. You shall reveal to them the hidden eternities, the breadth of infinity was not yet revealed. This one, well, we have seen this one, it shall be seen in its own, yeah. Abandoning the middle way. Middle way is the mental being. Now, if you see 154.13, abandon the dubious middle way, mental being. Now, we have got a line here, I am not able to trace exactly. Mind is the leader of the body life. Mind is the leader of the body life. Now, that is exactly the phrase which is used in the Mundaka Upanishad. Mind is the leader of the body life. What he says is, Mano Maya Prana Sharira Neta. Mano Maya, mental being is the leader of the vital being in the body, in the physical. Vital being in the physical, his leader is the mental being. Manomaya Prana Sharira. Now it is that Manomaya Prana Sharira Neta has to be now transcended. The mental being who is the leader of the being in the vital physical, it is that he has to be transcended and a higher being than the Manomaya Purusha, the mental being has to come. In other words, abandoning the dubious middle way means beyond the mental being, the supramental being or superman being or sarom being, it is he who will come and take charge of things. Ascending out of the breasts of mind, this is what is, and step into the truth, the right, the vast. You shall reveal to them the hidden eternity, the breadth of infinity was not yet revealed, some rapture of the bliss that made the world, some rush of the force of God's omnipotent, some beam of the omniscient mystery. So, bliss, force, omniscience, all these things will be revealed by you. You shall reveal to them the hidden eternities. So he, he says now here very clearly that it is not I who is going to reveal, it is you who will reveal. You shall reveal to them the hidden eternity, some being, the omniscient mystery, 